have in the past been very uncompetitive when it comes to remitting money. People prefer to use incumbents like Western Union or one of the new fintechs. What we hope to do is show that we have a pan-African digital platform that you can pay into and remove all of those different frictions. If you live your life in cash and you need to spend cash and everything in, in your environment is cash, Digital has got very little value for you. When it comes to digital in Africa, that seems to be the only way that banking can go. And the, the perception of what banking is and the services you deliver them has changed so much in the last 10 years. So if you look at our, our demographics, 10 years ago, it was, it was sort of about 45 to about 55 that will have mobile wallets. That demographic has changed. He gave you the global average for sending money to Africa, which was the 9%. But send money within Africa is about 17 to 20%. And send money from South Africa to Malawi is about 30%. So for me, as far as I'm concerned, that's not even the price, that's a tax. We find that you know, uh, people, when they come, uh, use the service, the, you know, the convenience is certainly uh, uh, a major element of why they want to switch. Remittance, it, it's uneasy, it just, it's an extension of the P2P and every mobile money platform in Africa has grown on the back of P2P and airtime top up. It needs to us to take the lead as operators and lead the regulators in the correct direction. There's no way regulation can be ahead of innovation. Switching uh, from uh, on uh, cash, using uh, cash to online uh, takes time because people are used to a method of sending. With remittances, there's, uh, there's three stages to it. There's the source, which is the first mile, then there's the middle mile and the last mile. We believe that investing in the remittance sector is very important as a gateway to providing a platform for financial inclusion. The biggest single thing that needs to happen is that focus needs to be placed on the paying out countries and solving the problems there. And I think there is a general consensus around the stakeholders in the industry that we need to work toward lowering the cost. The role of FSD Africa is, is about bringing awareness and the, in terms of uh, the work they do, the research they do, can help you know, to bring awareness to a lot of people and therefore help people to understand that digital is safe. The important point here is that cash is king. It's still king. Something like 98% of all transactions in the informal sector in Africa are in cash. And so to get people to change their habits, to change their mindsets very hard.